Well, as we were at the top of the table over in the championship, of course, with Burnley still leading the charge, with Sheffield United breathing down their necks. But what's going to happen this coming Boxing Day? We're going to take a look at that and more next. That's right, folks. Bouncing in a prediction video today. We're forward to match number 24 in this year's championship. And we'll get to that in just one second. If you know where you've been, smash your subscribe button, bang out today. All things Rovers related, championship related, world football itself related. We've got it all here, boys. Under one Ruski. Of course, there is the crazy festive period coming at you right here, right now, uh, with some big games on the agenda. But who will take full advantage of those games? We'll take a look at it, all of it, in a second. Of course, people shout out to my VIPs. They are the patrons. You know who you are. But anyway, let's get into it. Of course, take a look at what we're talking about. We're talking about this. Uh, of course, it is the championship. And of course, a uh, jam-packed schedule it was this past weekend. And it just keeps on keeping on, doesn't it, then? Let's recap the results. Uh, of course, Birmingham 3-2 would have a red and Gels galore on that one. I went with the one they win for Bristol, so not too shabby on that one. Uh, uh, sorry, Birmingham. Uh, meanwhile, Stoke 2-1 win over Bristol City. 2-1 win it was for me. Kind of a draw against Blackpool. I went with the 2-0 as well. Coventry drew with Sheffield at Swansea City there. I think they were 3 0 up. Uh, Swansea pulled it back out with a draw myself. Uh, Burnley, 3-1 win it was over Middlesbrough. I went with a 3-1 win. Not too shabby as well. Uh, Watford, 2-1 win over Huddersfield. Hopefully I put these in the fucking Super Brew because it's looking good right now. 2-1 win for me it was. Um, oh, look at this. Hull City won. Sunderland won. Called it, lads. Absolutely called it. Uh, Preston did lose to QPR though. 1-0 loss on that one. Uh, West Brom, 3-0 win over Rotherham. 2-0 win it was for me. I did go with the 2-0 win for Norwich. I don't know why, but, I, but because I'm sane. Because Rose was, should not have won. Well, we 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 won it. A decent performance, but um, uh, yeah, whatever, whatever. I'll take it. Uh, Luton against Millwall was uh, postponed, snowed off, and uh, the 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 Sheffield Wednesday game has taken place. It was a two-one win for Sheffield United. We'll take a look at the Super Brew in a second. Of course, let's take a look at the leaderboard right here, right now. Here's the the table. Uh, Burnley forty-seven points at the moment. They have got a massive gap between themselves and third place Rovers. Uh, of course, Sheffield Wednesday are uh, again on to forty-four points right now with that game that took place last night. Uh, Blackburn, of course, into third. Watford, of course, into fourth. Norwich now into fifth, and QPR into sixth. They're still in the mixer, aren't they? And of course, you can't rule out sort of uh, PNE, uh, uh, the Brum, uh, Millwall, and Swansea City going down the Hudson. To Wigan and Blackpool at the moment, uh, of course. But let's take a look at the Super Brew. Well, 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 well. Should we make? I think we should make that bloody make it bigger. Make it. That's what she said. As you can see, Dirk finally rises to the top with a monster win. Nineteen points on the board for me, uh, running away with it because I did got some big ones in there, big scores or Eno. So I finally know. Like, I look like I know what I'm talking about. Uh, but of course, I still got a lot of work to do uh, to catch up with the big boys in the leaderboard. Anyway, but anyway, DJ Horn in second. Second spot, 14.5. Macca up there with 14. Bernie K.E. up there. Mad Eyes of the Beast. La, la, li, la, la. Of course, if you see your name, smash your thumbs up. Uh, of course, not the greatest, of course, for Mexican Sniper, Harry, or Joe. Just the one point for them. You should have listened to me because then you would have had top bills. Uh, or at least top-ish bills, of course. Let's take a look at the leaderboard itself, of course. Uh, I'm in Downton 19th. That's the most important one. No, actually, I must be higher than that. Where the hell am I? I'm in 15th. I'm up four spots. Uh, I am the I am the biggest mover. No, I'm not. Uh, Mad Eyes up five spots to 27. Uh, where am I again? So I'm down into here. So 181 points. I've got a bit of a gap between myself and 16th spot. I really close in on the top 10 here. But of course, the leader is Bernie K.E. Non-mover, as is TC100 and Con DJ Snake. They are there as they were last time. Brian Russell uh, is up there into fourth spot. Uh, Kevin down one spot. Kevin! Down one spot to number five. Uh, and of course, Wang Fang up there as well. We do like his name. Uh, that just deserves an extra bonus point, doesn't it? Because it's such a cool name. But anyway, that's the state of play there. Uh, but it could all change uh, in a very, very fast-paced prediction league, of course. So if you want to get involved, use the link. Cutty Force Champ. You can still get mocks. You can still win certain rounds and become a top banana for a week. That's because I'm top banana right now. I am the king. I should be wearing a crown. Uh, but anyway, let's take a look at the next round of games that are, of course, coming at you on Boxing Day. Uh, there is a game going on on the 21st. December it's Coventry up against West Brom it's over at the Rico uh, I don't know if I had to call that one I would go with a draw I'll take a place on Wednesday the 21st of December so I, I'm, I'm just going to put a draw on that one but let's move forward to the uh, 26th of December is Watford up against Mill at Vicarage Road uh, of course is it an earlier kickoff it is an earlier kickoff uh, of course played for 30 times in 1993 15 wins for Watford 10 wins for Mobile 5 draws of course Watford though 6-7-4 uh, for them right now just 1 defeat to the past 6 Mill 1 defeat to the past 5 and then 42% for them 
time heading into this. Last time around, over at Vicarage Road, it was a 1 0 win for Watford back in April 2021. They've also played each other this season over at the Den. It was a 3 0 win for Millwall way back in October. Millwall, though, with a draw against Wigan most recently. Watford, the 2 0 win over Huddersfield, and come into this on the back of one, two, three, four clean sheets on the bounce. Uh, airtight defence, they're building it from the back, and of course, seeing what goes on up front as well. 21 to 20 is your Watford, 9 4 is your draw, 3 1 is your way win. Watford are in this, guys, and I think they are, are going to make a push for those top two spots in the end. So I'm going to go with a cheeky 3 0 win, a demolition job, none the same. Meanwhile, of course, another early kick up at the Stadium Light, of course. We will be here uh, doing a watch along on this one. It is Tony Mowbray's Sunderland up against JDT's Blackburn Rovers. Of course, plays 24 times in 1987, seven wins for Sunderland, nine from Blackburn Rovers, eight draws, of course. Uh, Sunderland, 58% uh, form for them, and then winning three of the last six. So because the Rovers side winning four of the last six, 6% six form for them heading into this. Of course, last time round, though, over at the Stadium Light, it was a 2 1 win for, uh, for Sunderland back in December 2011. It was in the Premier League, guys. Wow, wow, we well. Last time round, earlier this season, back in October, it was at Ewood Park. It was a 2 1 win for Rovers way back on match number 16. Rovers, though, 2 1 win for Norwich on the road. Of course, Sunderland with a 1 1 draw over at Hull uh, most recently. But the odds right here, right now, we are at Sunderland 13 to 10 for the Richie 9 to 4. Is your Rovers 9 to 4? Is the draw. This is a tough game here, guys. Uh, up against the old gaffer, up against a, 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 a raucous crowd, that is, of course, uh, the Stadium Light Faithful, and of course, a long way to go. Early kickoff as well. But I'm going to go with a draw. First draw of the season for Rovers. It's coming. It's coming. I think it will be this game. So a point in the back for us, not really moving forward, e is it? Uh, Bristol City up against, of course, West Bromwich Albion, and we're at Thrashton Gate. Uh, Pleasure the 20 times in 9 3, 5 wins for Bristol City, 10 for West Brom, 5 draws, of course, West Brom, uh, 5 wins in the last 6, they're on the climb, 83% form for them right now, Bristol City, though, 33% form for them, just 1 win in the last 6, they are also in a bit of trouble, I think. Uh, last around, though, over at uh, a Thrashton Games, a 2 2 draw back in March 2022, they also played the earlier this season at the Hawthorns, there was a 2 0 win for Bristol City back in October. West Brom, though, 3 0 winners over Rotherham, uh, of course, uh, uh, Bristol City did lose to Stoke most recently, but the odds right here, right now, we have Bristol City 20 to 10 for the victory, 9 4 is draw, 30 to 10. Is your away win here? Which way will we go? We're going to go with a 3-1 win for West Brom because they are contenders. I don't know. Right now, they're in 16th, but they're only five points off the playoffs. That's how close it is at the moment. I think they're also going to be pushing up. They've got the right man at the hell. Now, meanwhile, Borough up against Wigan Athletic. Uh, of course, Middlesbrough on the climb. Wigan, of course, on the slope. Play sure that's 18 times down three. Eight wins for Middlesbrough, two for Wigan. Eight draws, of course. Borough, though, 75 percent form for them right now. One win in six uh, up against, of course, Wigan side. 33 percent form for them right now. One win, uh, it's actually one defeat in, in six for Middlesbrough. One win in six for Wigan right now. 33 percent form for them at the moment as well. Uh, last time round over at the Riverside, it was a one win for Butler back in August 2019. They also played this season. It was at the DW. It was a four one win for Middlesbrough way back when. Uh, Wigan though, two one win over Sheffield. Two one loss for Sheffield. Sheffield wins Sheffield United uh, with Burrow. Three one loss to Burnley most recently. But the odds right here right now heading into this game coming at you over at the Riverside five to three on is your Borough eleven to four sure five to one of course is your Wigan here going to go with two one for Borough that win could actually see them propel up as high as 8th in the table. Hull City against Blackpool, of course. Let's take a look at this one then. Over at the KCOM or whatever you want to call it. Play each other at the MKM Stadium. 14 times of pressure, 2004, 3 wins for Hull, 6 for Blackpool, 5 draws, of course. Hull, though, 4 draws on the spin, 50% form for them right now. Blackpool, though, back to back draws for them. Haven't won the last 6 games, uh, of course. That's the round that over at Hull. It was a 1 1 draw back in uh, September 2021. That was in the Championship, uh, of course. Blackpool picking up back-to-back draws, drawing with uh, Birmingham and Cardiff, uh, respectively. Hull, though, uh, a couple of draws for them in the Championship most recently as well. Drawing away at, at Watford, home against Sunderland, of course. So looking at the odds right here right now. 6 to 5 is your hull, 23 to 10 is your way win, 23 to 10 is the draw here. It's a bit of a relegation six pointer at the moment down the foot. Going to go with a 1 0 win though for Hull. That'll push them up to 29 points and of course away from the drop zone. Meanwhile, Preston off end up against Huddersfield Town. Come at you at Deepdale. Played each other 17 times since the year 2009. Wins for Preston, 4 for Huddersfield, 4 draws of course. Preston though, 4 wins the last 6, 6 percent 4 for them right now. Huddersfield, 1 win in 6 for them, 25% 4 for them heading into this. Last time around, of course, uh, over at the uh, Deepdale was a 0 0 draw back in February 2022. Preston are unbeaten against Huddersfield over the last three. Just one defeat past six against them. So they do like to play Huddersfield. Uh, of course, North End, though, one no loss against QPR. Huddersfield with a 2 0 loss to Watford. Back to back to back to back. Four games without scoring a goal, uh, including a friendly. So take from three games in the league without scoring a goal for Huddersfield uh, as they look to, to right that wrong on this one. Uh, Preston, North End, 5 to 4 on for the victory. 2 5 is draw. 7 2 is your way win. Uh, of course, we are backing a 2 1 win for Preston. A goal, though, for Huddersfield might get them starting to score once again. Rotherham up against Stokes. 
City, of course they are. Let's take a look at this one then. Come out at the New York Stadium, also on a boxing day. Now, these two sides, according to my eyes, I've played each other 12 times in two. Five wins for Rotherham, three for Stoke, four draws, of course. One win in six for Rotherham right now. 25% born for them right now. Stoke, 58% born for them, just one feet past five. Uh, looking pretty good at that moment. Last time round over at the New York Stadium was a 3-3 draw back in January 2021. Uh, they also played each other this season at the Bet365 Stadium. was a one-nil win for Rotherham way back when. Of course, Rotherham, 3-0 uh, loss against West Brom most recently. Bristol City, though, uh, did uh, to lose to Stoke. Uh, of course, heading into this, got basic odds. Stoke, our favourite for the game here. Uh, of course, coming out on Boxing. They're going to go with a one-nil win for the host, though. Rotherham taking the three points and hopefully uh, getting away from the drop zone themselves. Sheffield United up against, of course, Coventry City uh, taking place at Bramall Lane. Coventry, of course, in action midweek. Uh, but, of course, they're looking to uh, get a couple of points on the board. A couple of wins, maybe, on the board. Pitch the 34 times in 93. 12 wins for Sheffield Wednesday. 13 wins for Sheffield United. Sorry. I'm bad. I'm bad. Okay, 12 wins for Sheffield United. 13 wins for Coventry City. Nine draws, of course. United, though, four, five wins in the last six. 83% form for them right now. Coventry, just one defeat in the past six. 75% form for them, not including the midweek game against West Brom. Uh, last round, though, over at Bramall Lane. It was a nil-nil draw back in November 2021. Uh, Coventry unbeaten against Sheffield United over the last three. Pick up a couple of wins and a, couple, and a draw. The Blades, though, 2-1 win over Wigan. Coventry with a 3-3 draw against Swansea. Throwing away a three-goal lead in that game, might I add. Uh, the odds right here right now, of course, don't forget they've got the game in midweek. 20 to 13 on is your Sheffield United. 11 to 4 is your draw. 70 to 4 is your way win. And back in Coventry City to lose this one. 2 0 win for the Blades, keeping the heat up with the freaks at the tip of the top of the table. Cardiff up against QPR. Come at you over in wheels. Now these two sides up at you 30 times. So you've done two nine wins to Cardiff. 16 wins for QPR. Five draws, of course. Cardiff, though, 50% uh, form for them right now. 1 2 lost to and drawn to. Up against QPR side. It won twice of the last three games. 33% uh, form for them over the last six. Last time around, though, over at Wales, it was a 1 0 win for QPR. Back in November 2021. Cardiff, though, drawing against Blackpool most recently. Uh, QPR with a one-in win over Preston in Critchley's first game. Uh, the odds right here right now. We've got Cardiff 11-8 for the victory. 12-5 is your draw. And 90 to 10 is your away win. I think I'm going to go with a, a draw here. Nearly in the end. Uh, QPR will be happy about that. Keeping themselves in the mix for top six. Luton Town up against Norwich City. Of course, come out over at Kenilworth Road. Played for the 13 times in 95. Six wins for Luton. Seven wins for Norwich. Nil draws, of course, between two sides. Luton, though, 42% form for them right now. Just one win in six. Up against, of course, Norwich side. Of course, 58 percent for them. Uh, two defeats past six games, of course. Last time around, over at Kenilworth Road, it was a 3-1 win for Luton. That was back in December 2020. Luton, though, 2-1 loss against Middlesbrough. And, of course, uh, Norwich with a 2-0 loss against Blackburn Bloody Rovers. Uh, the odds right here right now, we've got uh, Luton, of course, 31-20 for the victory. 8-5 is your away win. And 5-2 is your draw. I'm back in uh, the Canaries here. 2-1 win for them. Uh, keeping the heat at the top of the table. And, of course, Luton are in a bit of trouble at the moment. Uh, meanwhile, Reading up against Swansea, of course, also taking place on the 27th of December. Now, these two Sides that played each other 20, uh, 27 times as well. Uh, five wins for Reading, 12 wins for Swansea, 10 draws, of course. Reading, though, 42% form for them right now. Two wins the last six up against the Swansea side. One win the last six, 50% form for them. Heading into drawing four of the last six. Wow, wow, wee, wow. Last time around, though, over in Reading, it was a 4 4 draw back in April 2022. Uh, goodness gracious me. Uh, let's get that again. Hey, 3 2 win, though. A 3 2 loss for Reading, most recently against Birmingham. A 3 3 draw between uh, 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 Swansea and Coventry, most recently. But the odds right here right now, we've got Reading 70 to 10 for the victory. 31 to 20 is your Swansea and 23 10 is the draw here. Going to go with 3-1 with the Swansea, taking the three points, and again, uh, making a push for those six places, of course. Burnley up against Brum, of course, come back to at Turdmore on the 27th as well. Played each other 19 times since the uh, year 2000. Five wins for Burnley, seven wins for Birmingham, seven draws, of course. Burnley, though, five wins in the last six. 83% uh, form for them right now. Birmingham, 58% form for them, just one defeat by six also. Last time around, though, over at uh, Turdmore is a 2-2 draw back in August 2015. Oh, wow, wow, wee, wow. Meanwhile, Birmingham, 3-2 win of a, uh, of a Reading. Burnley with a big 3-1 win over Middlesbrough most recently, but the odds right here right now, we've got uh, 5 to 3 on is Burnley, 11 to 4 short, and 5 to 1 is your away win. We are back in for Burnley, unfortunately. 3 0 win for them, keeping the heat at the top of the table and keeping uh, the, the, the gap as it is. Of course, that's the, 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 the state of play for me. Uh, of course, if I'm right, this is what the table will look like Burnley running away with it, six points later over Sheffield United, uh, I think. Uh, of course, it might actually be less than that. And of course, Watford into third, Rose down to fourth uh, with a gap between themselves and seventh at five points still. But of course, we'll have to see about that as well. Make sure you get your picks in as well. Cut before slash champion EFL champ. It is free. Get your name and likes, of course. Now, a bit of a disclaimer coming into this one now. Uh, this is a busy period of the season and it is uh, very difficult to keep abreast of these games. But uh, I am going to record the games for the 29th and the 1st of December or the 1st of January. However, they are going to be recorded this week. So the week of the 20th all the way through uh, to the 26th. So um, they're going to be recorded ahead of time. 
um, just with my hopes and expectations. I don't think I'll have many odds and things like that to, to play off of, but uh, I don't have the time to record in between these days this time around. I've got too much going on over the Christmas period. A lot of, a lot of hustle and, and bustle, a lot of driving, a lot of lifting and shifting, and uh, just too much to keep to keep doing the videos over this Christmas break because we are uh, relocating uh, a thousand miles away. So it's it's uh, it's going to be a tough old challenge, but I'm going to keep the videos coming one way or another. You'll see what I mean when the next time you see me. But until then, guys, and again, the videos will be dropped at the right times, like for example, on the 27th and maybe on the on the 30th or something like that. So make sure you just keep an eye on it. Uh, just just uh, the the Super Brew will not be updated until uh, I get back uh, to uh, to normality. But until then, guys, subscribe, thumbs up, hit the hit the little bell. And of course, I'll see you back around whenever we come back around indeed.